Welcome, dear traders, you are watching a recap of the Asian session. Stocks in Australia and in New Zealand managed to recap the early losses. Japanese shares, on the contrary, dipped due to downbeat earnings reports. After a strong non-farm payrolls report published last Friday, traders were focused on Jerome Powell's testimony. He stressed that the regulator could undertake more rate hikes if the labor market remains tight. He acknowledged that the disinflationary process had already started. Powell also stated that 2023 should be a year of a significant declines in inflation. Although Powell's speech was almost identical to the one he made after the Fed meeting last week, risk sentiment improved. It appears investors got some positive hints from his speech. Perhaps they perceive a slowdown in tightening as a dovish signal. The bearish pressure on the stocks is easing, despite the fact that inflation is still far from the 2% target. Countries of the Asia-Pacific region are also unable to bring inflation down to the target levels. Besides, the Fed is also uncertain about its future plans. Before making rate decisions, it takes into account incoming data, so everything may change. Risk appetite is increasing as investors are now uh, pinning their hopes uh, on a less aggressive rate increases. However, some traders remain cautious, waiting for speeches of other Fed policymakers, namely John Williams, Michael Barr and Christopher Waller. They will deliver their speeches today. Uh, there could be search and volatility as traders are trying to find more hints about the monetary easing and the US dollar slid down due to improved risk appetite. Its a trajectory is a good example of how sharply Forex reacts to the Fed's remarks. They also spark volatility rather quickly. Yesterday's drastic move of the greenback is another proof. Today, the US dollar index has stabilized. It was trading at 103.30 versus its rivals, and the yield of US government bonds also decreased. As traders hope to get more clues about the, the future steps of the regulator, the US currency is gradually sliding down. In the Asian session, it was hovering in the narrow range of 103.20 and 103.40. The yen, which is sensitive to the movements of the US treasuries, advanced. Besides, its growth was facilitated by strong domestic economic reports, especially on real wages. On the top of that, traders are looking forward to the new comments from the Bank of Japan. Haruhiko Kuroda's term ends in April, and he does not intend to revise the ultra loose monetary policy. However, his successor could make some amendments to its parameters. Given all these factors, the yen appreciated against the US currency. After Jerome Powell's speech, the dollar-yen pair rose by 1.5%, hitting an intraday high of 130.50. After that, the pair uh, slowed down. In the Asian session, it was trading in the price Canada of 130.70, 131.40. On Wednesday morning, the pay approached 130.90 amid a relatively strong bullish bias. The Australian dollar was a lack in drivers in the morning as the economic calendar was empty. Therefore, the only crucial event was Powell's speech. Traders took notice of it, especially because of uncertainty of a monetary policy. In Australia, yesterday the Reserve Bank of Australia raised the interest rates for the ninth time in a row. Philip Lowe warned that the regulator could undertake more rate hikes, and his comments undermined the hopes of a policy reversal. However, Australian Treasurer Jim Chalmers said today that he, the government does not expect a recession. Assistant Treasurer Stephen Jones stressed that inflation has perked and it's starting to turn around. So we are hoping that this is if 
not the last than nearly the last of the interest rate increases. Surprisingly, bulls considered those remarks hawkish and this is why they are not ready to give up. The Australian dollar jumped to the psychologically important level of 0.70 amid the weakening of the US dollar. However, later the Yaudi USD pair slightly declined to 0.6982. The Australian dollar made a new attempt to grow. In the Asian session, it tried to recover to the range of 0.6948 and 0.6992. The nearest resistance levels are located at 0.7000 and 0.7045. Despite the risk on sentiment, the Kiwi failed to show a beyond price. It slid into a narrow channel. It was trading at 0.6343 with a bullish bias in the Asian session. However, it scored modest gains. It was moving in a narrow range of a 0.6312 and 0.6347. There are several reasons for such a moderate price. Traders are now anticipating the Reserve Bank of a New Zealand meeting, which is on a tap on February 22. The regulator is expected to hike the Q rate by a quarter point. Prime Minister Chris Hopkins promised that the minimum wages would increase in line with inflation. However, this move may boost consumer prices. The regulator also did not confirm that its interest rate had reached a restrictive level. And that's all for now. Hit the subscribe button to keep abreast of the latest market news with us. See you soon.